Hey, good morning. I pray you're doing well. You know, as always, when I come before you, it's to encourage and to warn and to challenge, to inspire those who have eyes to see and ears to hear to not only open the Word of God and truly steady about the times and the seasons in which we live, but also about how we are to conduct ourselves in these final hours. Every one of us is going to stand before our Lord at some time. Everything we've done, every word we've said, will be scrutinized through the blood of Jesus Christ. So those who are sealed in Him are covered by His blood. With that being said, as Christ followers, when we give our life to Him, when we are indwelled with the Holy Spirit, we are to conduct ourselves in a manner pleasing and worthy to the Lord. Thanks be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the beautiful gift of grace, because without that, we would all be doomed. A gift of repentance for when we fall short of His glory, because every single one of us do. The gift of love that He has for us, the Father showed us by sending His Son. When we stand before our Lord, Again, like I mentioned before, we were covered by His blood. That's where we're standing before Him. Our conduct, how we were on this earth, will be tried by fire. We must ask ourselves, are we, are we showing love for the Lord out of a true, pure heart? Or are we showing love? that we're Christ followers out of other or for other means. I ask you these things because when we stand before Jesus Christ, for those who are sealed in Christ, we still have to account for how we conducted ourselves. Now those who are not sealed in Christ will stand before the, the judgment of the Father and will be condemned. But those who are sealed in Christ those who will be separated on the left and the right, those whose, how we conducted our actions and the things we did on this earth will be tried, again, like I mentioned before, by fire. You know, we, in these final hours, must be conducting ourselves in a way that is pleasing to the Lord. He's coming back for a pure bride. That's why many will not enter in, because of their actions, because they believed in a lie and a delusion. And though they speak of Christ with their lips, their hearts are for this world. Jesus Christ himself said, anyone who puts their hand to the plow and looks back is not worthy or fit for his kingdom. Just like Lot's wife in the act of being rescued, in the very action of being saved, turned back, looking and longing for her city. Are we looking and longing for this world in these final hours? We must all ask ourselves these questions. Will our works be burned up? or what we did, how we conduct ourselves, how we showed the love of Jesus Christ to others in these final hours, will it be rewarded? Will we receive the crowns of glory for being a follower, a fellow heir to our King? This is for you to go before the Lord because our time is so short, the hour is near. Have you been spreading the gospel of grace and love of Jesus Christ and about his soon return, the warning about his coming to re rescue those who love him? And also about the judgment that is going to fall the wrath of the Father that Jesus Christ is bringing upon the earth. Have you been speaking of these things or have you been keeping your mouth shut and quiet these last hours? Have you been cowardly? 
not sharing. By not opening your mouth is a type of denial. Jesus Christ himself said, if you deny me before man, I will deny you before the Father in heaven. And he even said, he even even goes on to say, not all who say, Lord, Lord, will enter into your kingdom because of our actions. And I challenge you to please study this because many, many refuse to read these passages of Scripture. In these final hours, please, may we be the sheep on His right. May our works, though tried by fire, will be, be, be refined like gold. Receive your crown of glory. Our hour is near. I pray you hear this message in Jesus' name. As always, by the Lord, our King, our Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.